Ah, hello there. Welcome back to Ramble Craft. We started today's episode off with the time lapse because in the last episode I said we would get straight to work with a project over here at Spawn and that is exactly what we're doing. So what I just did, as you, as you just saw, I cleared out a bunch of trees up here because it is time to do a bunch of terraforming. Now in the last episode I mentioned that we have had a meeting and our plan is to kinda not completely level this hill, but to clear some of it to make space for a few structures. And maybe also to make a cooler looking portal gateway. But yeah, so we need space, so some of this hill needs to go. So I've kind of taken this project as something that I want to do to basically make this hill, remove some of it, but make it look good. Now before I started this, I visited Amaradon's wool shop, because I needed a ton of wool just so I can mark out specific things. So my plan here is this hill, I'm planning on cutting half of it off and then leaving the other half, but then texturing it and doing some terraforming and whatnot. So it's going to look like it's going up and then just cutting straight down. It's going to make a lot more sense when you see it, but I'm hoping that that makes kind of sense. So what I'm planning to do here with this wool is kind of just mark the area so I can get a bit of an idea of how this is going to go. All right, so I've marked some of this and I think it looks good. Yep, from a top side view, this does have a pretty good shape. I want this to go maybe a little bit like so. And then I want it to go down basically to that tree. So I think that is what I'm going to have to do here. Yep, perfect. Now this part is going outwards. I really want it to go inwards if that makes sense yep i think that that is a pretty decent shape i like it so i think i have everything i need all my tools are ready they are repaired they're ready to go i have a hill i have a bed i have a shulker box filled with wool and i have plenty of storage for when i dig this part out i think it's time to get going with the time lapse i think this is going to look pretty amazing so let's get to it let's go Oh look, fancy rainbow. Also, hi. The excavation process is now complete. So I decided to leave three layers of dirt here, which I think is fitting because we don't want to just make it completely flat. We want to have some options and variety. So I have left this, this should be good enough to work with. And this is pretty flat as well. So I think we are good on that front. So now what I gotta do is I gotta remove all this wool and then I gotta decorate this, uh, Cliff? Is that what you call this thing? Well, it is now. <laughs> so yeah, I gotta first of all remove the wool that I put around here and then I gotta use the stone and the dirt that I got from the excavation process to make this look a whole lot fancier. And Amradan is already talking about installing a tri- oh no. Oh no. Nope. 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 It's not, not acceptable. But yeah, as I was saying, Amradan is already talking about getting the train uh, station that we have been talking about installed, or at least begin on that, and Entevar has begun talking about doing some building build, build build stuff, so yeah, I think we should probably get to this cliff ASAP. Now I will admit, I've never done something like this before, so things could go... Either really good or really bad. However, I do have plenty of dirt and grass and stone. However, I think I might need a bit of moss, so I'll be sure to go ahead and grab that. I'm also gonna grab a bunch of sailor leaves, maybe. No, actually bamboo I don't think is going to fit for this. I just want to make sure that I have everything I need. So you know what? I'm gonna grab the whole shulker box. It is by Boxo Projects after all. And I want to make sure I have plenty of spruce saplings. And I really don't have a whole lot of moss here. Hmm. 
Oh well, guess I should probably clean my boxo projects up a bit. All right, boxo project is down, plenty of stone. I'm I'm not even sure how I'm going to do this. I'm I'm literally just going to wing it. I this is either going to go really well or it's going to go really bad. And you'll see it here first. So uh <laughs> let's just jump right into this. I really hope it goes well. I think I'm pretty happy with this actually. Halfway through making this I was like, eh, but now that I'm looking at the finished result, I'm actually not, yeah, I, I like this. I don't think it's too bad. Let me know what you think of this down below in the comments. Now I think we're going to take a little bit of a break from the cliff project and take our attention to the storage barn because ever since I built it, it actually hasn't been fully working, which has been bothering me. A little bit because I've had to do everything manually, which it's nice to have the storage organized. Well, semi organized, but I want the mechanism to work. So, yeah, this thing hasn't been working, and I have basically gone ahead and removed all of the redstone wiring back here. And I'm gonna try and redo it, and I'm gonna hope that I do it right this time. So, what I'm gonna do before I go ahead and just slap in the redstone here, I'm gonna teleport us. To the setting world. So this is where I designed the barn in the first place before I went ahead and built it on the server. And here is the redstone mechanism. So I've taken some screenshots which I'm going to go ahead and follow, which is what I did last time and everything worked fine. And I can demonstrate it if I put some polished andesite in here. As you can see it gets set down and I do believe polished andesite is uh, somewhere. Yeah, as you can tell I've done a lot of testing. So yeah, so many clicks has happened now that it's the sound I think has blocked out, but the underside is now reaching this chest as it should be because there is nothing else in here. However, if I were to take some polished underside again, throw it into the system and then make room for it here, we should see, yep, there we go. So this in theory and in, in practice here, this should work just fine. So it's time to try this again on the server. So I've gathered all the redstone mechanics and whatnot in here. So we should be good to just get started with this. Also it's night time so I've blocked things off to stay safe. Um, yeah, this is, this is gonna be interesting. Again, I'm using screenshots to see where things are going. And it really shouldn't be that tricky to for me to follow here, but again, you never know. Pretty sure I'm on the right track so far. I am indeed so far so good. So I need to place droppers basically in the shape like this, one facing up and one facing away with a space in between for a hopper to go in here and then in there. And I think maybe instead of going all the way, all the way around, I'm going to, before I continue around the corner here, I'm going to finish this part and see if this part actually does work or not. And that should be everything in place. So in theory, I should now be able to throw in spruce planks and they should make it into this chest. If I have done things correctly, which I clearly <laughs> haven't. We're off to a great start. Oh yeah, I, I forgot something. There we go. So this should be fed into this thing and it shouldn't continue any further. It should, like it's doing, head straight into there. Okay, now as I have followed it all the way over here, I'm gonna try with 26 andesite and we should see andesite starting to appear in this chest. Before the sorting system, it did not continue past these rows of chests, so I'm excited to see what happens now. Not looking good so far. It is being pushed through. But... 
the exact same issue happens. At this specific point, it stops. Despite everything, it's like everywhere else. This is gonna take some thinking and some research. I think I have finally figured it out. So I took the redstone out and placed it right in the middle of everything so I could probably test this thing and I finally figured out what was wrong with it. So that this is how it looked before and this was the mistake. Now it works. <laughs> All it was was a little bit of misplaced redstone. For some reason I thought there had to be redstone on the top of these, but really that is why it didn't work. So now if I go ahead and place 28 and the side in here, it's going to get pushed through and what would happen before is it would get stuck right down here. But now it is actually getting pushed all the way over into the next free chest in line. And there we go, that is my 25 andesite, and then we still have some items remaining in the system, and then that is the 28 that I started with originally. Problem solved! And I'm actually really happy that I managed to solve this, because that means that my storage system is now going to work 100%. Now I just gotta get all the droppers and the hoppers placed again, and we should be good to go. So all of this redstone here on the top, just gotta go. And then now this should work just fine. The next thing I then gotta do is figure out how to move around this corner, but that should be fairly easy, I'm pretty sure. I think this goes like that. And like so. And like so. I think. I mean, I have one hopper left, which kind of worries me, but yeah, I think this makes sense. So a repeater here, this here, repeater here, simply redstone and redstone across. And I think that that should be it. Now what I'm gonna do finally is add composers above these hoppers here to reduce, to help reduce lag. And I do believe that that should be Everything. This should now work. There's only one good way of testing this and that is throwing in this cobbled deep slate which is right here. So this should then get filled up if I just go ahead and throw this in. It gets pushed through the system and eventually should end up here which it doesn't. Ah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this this would be why. Okay, uh, then this should go up if there's no other missed spots. Yes, it's working. <sighs> okay, this is actually working. This is sick. <laughs> this is really, really cool. So in theory, everything should now be able to get sorted as long as the chests are, of course, full and have been organized, which this one and this one and this one hasn't. I'm still missing out a few bits, but I'm thinking what I can do in between here is maybe take some glass panes. Can you dye glass panes? Well, I don't have any red dye anyway. If I just go ahead and fill out these so that no items can really take their place in them, just until I have filled out everything that needs filling out. I think that should be that. Yep, still filling up. So I think what I should then be able to do in theory is push all of this, maybe except for the coal, all the way through here. And things should eventually get sorted. So I'm gonna set this to just work. And I will come back later and we will see how well this has worked. I'm pretty satisfied for now though, so now I think I can take away this cobblestone. Now just while we're in the area, I can see that we have in fact sold some shulker boxes. I need to stock up the netherite. Just gonna check the rest of the shop real quick. I guess I should probably do some advertising for this. But yeah, we're out of shulker boxes and we are out of netherite scrap, which is of course not good because that means we won't be able to make any diamonds while we're empty. So I should probably go ahead and sort that real quick. So I'm going to fly over to the nether and then I'm probably gonna go in this direction, I think. This is very bright with shaders indeed. 
And I want to go somewhere I can safely mine. That seems like a decent spot. So if I just dig straight down here a little bit. So Y level, I believe, 16, 13. I'll settle in, the, in between and go for 14. And then I'm just going to go ahead probably disable the shaders for this bit and oh dear and i'm just gonna mine in a straight tunnel <laughs> and we'll see how much netherite we get so i will see you after a little bit of mining Alright, I have been mining for about 25 minutes. I got 16 nature debris, which I am definitely happy with. I am somewhere. Both my pickaxes are now in pretty rough shape, so I think it is a good idea if I stop by my gold farm and repair some stuff. Aha! Signs of civilization. I still need to make this place look a little bit more inviting and pretty, but there it is. Only minus is it's kind of loud here, so let's get to work quickly. This thing is quite loud. Done repairing stuff and let's... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I should probably get a villager where I can trade run flesh, huh? Yeah, we also have quite a lot of gold. In fact, I do believe that yeet, I need a little bit of gold for making the netherite ingots. Which, in fact, let's go do that now. And there we go. Four netherite ingots. Netherite has now been restocked. And I have realized one thing. It's a bit annoying that this comes up, like the text. So I think I'm going to... I don't know how I can actually reset the names, the names of an item, but... Aha, so if you just add the item and then up here remove the name and add a space, it seems like that resets it. Oh, that's really cool. So now when I place this in, yep, nothing shows up. Perfect. The Joker boxes, I think I'm going to get those on a stream. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure you're subscribed and have notifications enabled. All right, with the shop now sorted, I think it's time we head back to the storage area here and take a look at how things are progressing because they have. Things have been sorted the way they should in all the different chests. I did make one small mistake though, and I noticed that afterwards, and that is I had redstone dust on this specific block here instead of a repeater, which made things clog up over here and not proceed through the system but now that is no longer an issue and everything is working perfectly so i'm really happy that now works now there is one final thing that i want to finish up and that is the cliff area that we started this episode making and for that i'm going to need a few different kinds of resources here including blocks of amethyst so calcite some tough blocks of amethyst maybe throw in some couple deep slate here and there definitely want some moss for this i don't have any glow berries surprisingly lanterns will do instead also i do apologize i forgot to enable my shaders also a lot of progress has happened over by spawn first of all this has popped up which i do believe is amradon's doing we have some plans with that but look at this when we planned to put a bridge here this is not what I had in mind. <laughs> this has far passed my expectations. This is so grand. I love it. I love the detail of blue fire at the top here. And this, I do believe, is spawn. So if you don't have a bed or anything, you should spawn right here in the middle somewhere. And look at this. We even have the beginnings of a dock. Oh yeah, and over here is going to be a storage area, a little bit of a community storage area, where we can basically donate 
any leftover blocks or materials that we don't need to the rest of the server. So if anyone else have projects that they require materials for, they can come here and take whatever they need. Also, I, I love this path. Also, know that it's not random. That, there's actually a plan behind that. But this right here is going to be where the portal is going to be sitting. And I had the idea of making a little bit of a cave entrance, making it kind of crystal-y, kind of calcite-y, mossy, and then just have the portal in here. And I think that would look really, really cool, both from the outside and from the inside, when you arrive at spawn through the portal. So that is what I'm going to be doing. First things first, though, I'm going to have to break this. And I didn't bring extra obsidian. Do we have obsidian anywhere? Nope. Yes. Yeet. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right, with this in place, let's get to mining. I think there should be plenty of obsidian for today's task. All right, so before I begin the actual project here, I'm going to do the scary part of dismantling this portal and putting a new one in right here. This should be fine. All right, for the moment of truth. Perfect, it works. This means I can now begin the transformation. Let's go. I think I'm pretty happy with this. I think definitely an improvement from before and it's ha it has that mystical special feeling that I wanted it to have. And of course, the trick of having amethyst under some carpet. Love it. Now I do want to replace these lanterns with some glow berries at some point, but I don't have any unfortunately. However, Endavard did just tell me that he might have some somewhere, so we'll get those replaced eventually. Also, I like having the amethyst behind the portal. It kind of mixes with the portal and so you don't really see what's behind it. I kind of like that. But yeah, I would say that it's a cliff project. Well done. But with that, I'm going to call this an episode. I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And if you do, do consider hitting that subscribe button and enabling those notifications, of course. I share this video with your friends. It would help out a lot. And of course, be sure to check out the other Ramblers as well. Links down below in the description. But that's going to be it. Really hope you have enjoyed. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And... Goodbye.